Hey guys, let's talk about zeroing your IR laser. Uh, this is something I see come up quite a bit, especially with new night vision shooters, and a lot of folks are overthinking it. There's two main tracks to do this. One is with a converging zero, and the other is with a parallel zero. With a parallel zero, you're trying to make your laser perfectly parallel with your bore. You do this with a specialty target or some other way of uh, shooting and then measuring your uh, moving your laser over to a certain point on that same target so that your laser is theoretically perfectly uh, parallel or co coaxial with your bore. That being said, your day optic is typically not zeroed perfectly coaxial with your bore. Your bullet has a ballistic trajectory to it. So usually you're measuring or you're, you're matching your um, your zero at some known distance, 100 yard zero, uh, 50, 250 zero, something like that, where your bullet's going to go up through your point of aim and then back down and touch your point of aim again at some other distance. So with a converging zero, you're going to set your laser onto your day optic, which is a much easier task to do and also, um, in my opinion, a much more reliable way of aiming than a, uh, a, a parallel zero. So to do that, what you're going to do is either during the daytime, if you have a coaxial laser, you will bring your laser on perfectly to the same point of impact or same point of aim as your optic during the daytime or at dusk at the furthest object you can see. So you'll aim out at some distant tree line uh, with some flat surface as far out as you can see and bring your laser onto your day optic. That can be done with a magnified optic or with a uh, just an aim point or whatever you got on, on your rifle. So um, again, you're just going to aim at the furthest thing you can see and bring your laser onto your, your optic. To get it really nice and tight, you can use a 3x magnifier on your nods. And now you can sit there, take your time, and really dial it in nice and tight. That's going to be as good as anything. Before I go out competing or whatever I'm doing, I'm going to go double check the zero on my day optic. And then I'm just going to bring my laser right onto that and I'm done. I'm not going to go fire any test shots with just the laser or anything. I know if my day optic is on, my laser's on my day optic, I'm good to go. So um, it's simple and easy and um, a, a better way to do it in my opinion than trying to do a parallel zero. Um, one other thing, if you've got a uh, parallel zero... Now you've got a different set of holdovers for different ranges. With a converging zero, if my laser is matched up with my optic, then um, my holdover is going to be the same. So if I need to hold two feet high at some long range, I need to put my laser two feet over that, that target at that same range. And I know I'm never going to be off more than this distance here, right? If I've got my, my uh, bore here, my optic is here, my laser is here. I'm never going to be off more than this distance if these are truly converging at some long range. I'm going to be off less than that amount, which is an inch or two, which is plenty good for uh, engaging with an IR laser. So just some quick thoughts on that. I hope that helps. Um, again, if you're looking at a parallel versus a converging zero, I would recommend a converging zero all day, every day. It's easy, fast, and uh, another benefit is you can double check and, and quickly see if one optic or the other is shifted, right? If you set up with a converging zero and you pull up on your optic after a while and they're not agreeing, then either your laser is shifted or your day, off, day optic is shifted and you got to troubleshoot. So um, converging zero is the way to go, in my opinion, and uh, hope it helps. Thanks.